I like it. You know, my favorite kind of food is when the grease runs down your hand. <laughs> That's just like the way you like your tacos, huh? That is how I like my tacos. Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and we're gonna do something just a little bit different on today's video. It's not gonna be a farm vlog. It's actually gonna be in the kitchen and doing a little cooking out here on the Pit Boss pellet grill. So a lot of you want to know what we do with a lot of the meat that we harvest from the deer and pigs and things on our farm. And we cook it all kinds of different ways. But one of the things that my family loves the most is a really good smoked sausage or like a bratwurst. And today we're going to be making some, I'm going to call them bratwurst, they're probably more just like a smoked sausage. I'm not an expert on this. We're going to be trying this out for the first time in several years. I haven't made them myself. I usually have them made by our processor. But today we're going to be making them out of kind of a mixture of venison and pork. So I brought where it needs a lot of fat in it so that it doesn't dry out. And deer meat just does not have the fat content. So we're going to be doing like a 80-20 mix deer to pork ratio. And then probably add in a little bit of extra fat. So when we had our pigs processed here on our farm, the uh, processor saved me back some fat. So we're probably going to add in half a pound, maybe a pound of fat into the mixture and uh, make this guy some smoked sausages. When? Today. That's what we're going to oh. be doing. Yay. Is that all right with you? Yeah. What have y'all been uh, doing? Jumping. Jumping and I was chopping down a tree. So everybody's going to say, bit. look how tall Jacoby is. He's taller than Houston, but it's because he was on a higher step, huh? Yeah. All right. And well, I got to get in the kitchen and do some cooking. And I was shaving it down. Gotcha. All right. Y'all go have fun. So we're going to be starting off with our meat already ground up. Now you could obviously do this with a hind quarter off of a deer and grind it yourself and stuff. But I've got a lot of meat already in the freezer that's ground up. So all of our deer has been ground. And this says wild game, but it's actually the uh, ground pork from the pigs that we raised. My wife's over here working on our website and our t-shirt stuff. But you just have to bear with me because she's working in the background. But I'm going to be using my wife and my daughter's KitchenAid mixer. I bought this on Amazon several years ago. It's a meat grinder, but you can also use it as a sausage, a sausage stuffer. You like that? Sausage. <laughs> so uh, now that Jacoby's got his eye saw out of the refrigerator, we uh, we're going to be grinding up the pork fat. It's still just in big chunks, so we'll grind that up first. I have to thaw out all my meat, but we're going to want it nice and cold. So once we get it all mixed up. Get the pork and the deer mixed together. We'll run through the grinder again just to get it mixed in with the fat. And we're going to be adding in the Bearded Butcher's Blend seasoning and some high temperature cheese. So, Houston, what is this? you're running off with my stuff. That's our sausage casings. That's what the sausage goes in. So these are just um, artificial casings. But you know what some people use? What? Pig intestines. That's how they make their sausages. They stuff the meat in pig intestines. So we're going to be using artificial. These are collagen casings. So you don't have to worry about eating pig intestines today. Mm -mm. All right, so I've got my, my fat here from the hog that we raised this winter or this summer. And this is frozen. I mean, it's just almost rock solid. We're going to grind it a couple different times. I'm going to start off with a like the large plate, which is like made for chili and things. And then I've got the small plate, we'll switch to that. The one thing with grinding fat though, is if you let it cool off or warm, if you let it warm up and it's not frozen, it's just gonna gum up your grinder in a hurry. So we're gonna get that ground up. Then we'll mix in our, this is gonna be your ground deer meat. And then this is our ground pork. Get our seasonings all mixed up. And then we'll probably pop this back in the freezer for a little while, let it firm up when we get the fat and everything mixed in it. And then we'll run it through our sausage stuffer. Anybody want spaghetti? Mm, 
<laughs> Just don't heat it up. <laughs> you gotta eat it cold. <laughs> yeah. So I'm blending together my pork and my, my venison. I went ahead and popped that all that fat in the freezer because I want it to firm up because like I said that fat will gum everything up. But we're gonna try to run a lot of this through this grinder one more time just to help mix the, the venison and the pork together. Otherwise when you're eating your sausage you'll get one bite that's venison and one bite that's pork. So it'll just take us a few minutes to run everything through the grinder and get it well well blended. And like I said with <clears throat> with the fat you want it as cold as possible. I did let all this meat thaw out. Obviously it was frozen solid, but it's still pretty firm right now. If we have to, we'll pop it in the freezer for 20 or 30 minutes because you don't want that stuff to get warm. It'll gum up your, your grinder pretty fast. Now, if you got a big commercial grinder, it may be different, but with these little small KitchenAid mixers, uh, you know, there's only so much power they have, but we'll knock this out real quick. So I ran all of my mixture of meat through the grinder one time. It should be all be mixed together really well. The next step is to add the fat in and then add our seasonings in. Now this seasoning came from the Bearded Butchers. You can find those guys on YouTube. They have some incredible butchering videos. I've never used this, but everyone says it's amazing. Now this sounds extreme to me, but according to their recipe, 12 pounds of meat calls for one entire six ounce shaker of seasoning. So I'm gonna divide this into two containers. I'll add the fat in there, and then I'll probably put these in the freezer because that meat's getting kind of soft. And the last thing we'll add in is our cheese. Now I've got some high temperature cheddar cheese that we're gonna be adding into the mix to make these a cheesy bratwurst. And I don't wanna run those through the grinder because I don't wanna grind the cheese up before it goes in. But if you're gonna do this, make sure you get high temperature cheese that's made for cooking. Otherwise, it'll all just melt out while you're cooking your sausage. I know that like, seems like a ton of seasoning, but uh, this is really starting to smell phenomenal now. That Bearded Butcher Blend seasoning smells amazing. I've never used it. I, I bought some online just after watching their videos. I know they really promoted it awful highly and they sold me, but um, it smells amazing. I know that. And it just seems crazy to dump a whole six ounce container into here, but they say it's good for 12 pounds of product, which we had just about right at that. I didn't actually weigh out the fat, but we probably had close to, I don't know, probably three quarters of a pound of fat, something like that. But I'm going to get these incorporated as best I can by hand. And then, like I said, we're going we're gonna to pop these in the freezer for a little while just so that this meat is nice and firm and it will go through the grinder and into our stuffing casing, you know, much smoother that way. All right, I just pulled my, my mixture back out of the freezer, put the large plate back on. We're gonna run this all back through the grinder real quick. It should go fairly fast. The meat's, you know, not frozen, but it's firm. And going through that large whole plate, it'll just help incorporate everything, mix it all together, get the seasonings blended into the meat really well. And then we'll be ready to stuff these in the sausage stuffer. All right, there's what our product looks like now. You can tell that there's no big chunks of the fat anymore. All the seasonings well blended in there. And now it's time to add in our high temperature cheese. Now, I don't have near enough in my opinion. I ordered a pound and apparently this was the last package they had. So I've only got half a pound of cheese. So I may divide this up into batches and do half with cheese and half without. Cause I just don't feel like a half a pound of cheese is enough for 12 pounds of meat but that's just part of it so 
We'll just divide this in half and see what we come up with. As you can tell, I obviously don't have a recipe. <laughs> it's not exact science here. I, I'm not. I'm not a uh, top quality sausage chef, obviously. All right, so I'm gonna get the cheese all incorporated in there, and then we'll put our sausage stuffer on here, and we'll be ready to uh, start filling some casings. All right, here we go. Got our sausage stuffer on there. Got our collagen casings on the tube. And we're just gonna start filling the casings. Now, this may be a little bit easier with two people because you, know, you gotta kinda support the sausage as it comes out or you'll break your casings. But we'll try it with one. And then I may have to recruit a little bit of help in a minute. Well, there's our first roll of our, our sausage done. Our stuffer is working, but I went ahead and took all our meat back outside and put it in the freezer, probably leave it out there for a few minutes and let it kind of firm up. Cause the problem we're having is as that meat gets warm, it just kind of wants to mush up and then adding that cheese to the mix really makes it kind of bind up in there. So I'm not gonna say this is the best sausage stuffer in the world when you can buy you know, a dedicated sausage stuffer that's made for that purpose, it's gonna work a little bit better. But this little KitchenAid will get us by, and clearly, it works. You think it's gonna taste any good, though? Yes, I think it will. You do? Mm-hmm. Well, there's what, uh, <laughs> 12 pounds of deer and pork sausage looks like. My casing was just a little bit too long there. So I'm gonna get the uh, Pit Boss pellet grill warmed up and we're gonna smoke most of this. I may, may not do all of it, I don't know, we'll see. But we're gonna smoke it real low and slow. We're not just trying to grill it real fast, but uh, we wanna smoke it for probably 180 degrees for an hour or two, and then we'll cut them up into individual portions and uh, throw them in the freezer. We'll have a lot of meals for the next uh, Several months to get that. I just hope it tastes good because I'm still learning. I'm not an expert at this, but uh, this is a good way to use a lot of that ground venison other than just, you know, making hamburgers or something. So we'll see how it turns out. Old pit boss smoker up here. Some of these I didn't get long enough to curl up, so we're probably just gonna lay them on here long ways. Some of them are a little longer than others. when I may have to curl. I'm gonna need you to pick up the pace. It's oh my cold. goodness. It's cold out here. It is not that cold. It really is. Alright, let's let the smoker do its job. Our sausage has been out here on the smoker for probably an hour and a half or so. It's getting kind of cold outside and I'm having a hard time maintaining the temperature in here. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it off. I'm not trying to cook this all the way through. We just wanted to smoke it for a couple hours or so. And then we'll uh, slice them up, put them in the freezer. But uh, look at that. This stuff, mm, it's gonna be amazing. Ah, I don't have to hope. Mm, my wife loves deer meat. Well, I mean, it's just, I know it's going to be good. Well, may have to slice. <laughs> Got a little stiff. <laughs> well, I'm going to slice them for the freezer anyways, but I'm going to have to get a bigger tray to put those on. Yeah, we'll take these in. Look at that though.
Well, there's the finished project. And uh, I think they're going to be amazing. I'm glad I pulled them off when I did. I said I wasn't really concerned about them being done all the way through. But as you can see, I think they're done all the way through. So I cut up a few pieces. So my dear loving wife, <laughs> no pun intended, could try my dear sausage. Hey, come on. You got to try it. Just the one with the cheese. So I should have a bigger buck than Nick. Yeah, but he should have a buck than Nick. It's running down your hand. Mmm. Can I eat a hot dog? I mean, I like that. You know, my favorite kind of food is when the grease runs down your hand. <laughs> That's just like the way you like your tacos, huh? That is how I like my tacos. Houston, Kobe, y'all come try this. I'm no, this is different. This is fresh oh. and hot. The other one was a little cooked a little too long. Mmm. Wow. Really good. Yeah. It's good. All right. Wow. So, I don't know about Houston and Emily. They they're gonna say it's good no matter what. Quit. You gotta get out of the way. I wanna know what this guy thinks right here. It's good. You like it? Yeah. Best deer sausage you've had all day. So I figured. So everyone approves? You gonna save me any of that or are you gonna eat it all? I'm gonna eat it all. <laughs> so I'm going to let these cool all the way and then I'll probably vacuum seal them in little vacuum bags and put like four or five so that my family can just lay those out and then we can heat them up and have sausage whenever we would like. And uh, like I said, I'm not an expert on making bratwursts and sausage links and smoked sausage and all that stuff i'm still learning but everything that i use today minus the meat you can find on amazon i'll leave links in the description box to pretty much everything the seasoning the high temperature cheese let's see the grinder the, the stuffer pretty much everything i use today the casings i'll leave links to all that stuff on amazon and uh, like i said if you if you harvest deer, this is a great way to use some of that deer meat, but you can do this with anything. You can do it with store-bought meat if you wanted to, if you wanted to make your own sausages. So uh, experiment with it, try it out, play with it. And uh, I don't know, if you're good at this stuff, let me know. Leave me some tips in the comment section if I messed up, if I did some stuff wrong. But everyone in my household approved, minus Weston. He's not here right now. He had to work this afternoon. But he'll taste it when he gets home, I'm sure, because I'll probably still have it sitting on the bar and he'll eat half of it. So um i'm gonna get off of here because houston's not gonna share he's chopping it all up and gonna eat it all mm -hmm. hey don't be hitting your fingers hey i won't all right jacoby yeah since you don't get to be on the channel very often why don't you wrap this video up for us today you have to this time you gotta chew his sausage first <laughs> we're gonna have to let bella have a try since she's sitting here snorting at me i think bella approves so thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Houston's not gonna, Houston's not gonna approve of that one. That's not gonna work. And you were whispering. Yes. What's he need to say first, Houston? Speak loud. Um, if you haven't already, go down there, subscribe. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Can you say all that? <laughs> Come on, People cuss. like to hear you talk, man. Yeah, you gotta you talk. You can do it. You do it in front of everyone else. See, so just <laughs> like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Like, if you're cool, you know what to do. <laughs> like, like and share and subscribe. There you go. Now I it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.